longer for this. And here's the bounce to begin the game. Tapped by Jolly. He gets his hands on the footy. Ball on the run. Bounced. Handball short. 30 meters out. Going for goal number one. Swan Jack. AFL Live 2 is the second installment to the AFL Live series. AFL Live is a side view game that is available on the Wii, PS3, Xbox 360 and iOS. Developed by Wicked Witch Software and published by True Blue Entertainment. It was released in May 2011 and the Game of the Year edition was released in July 2011. There is expert commentary by Dennis Cometti and Tom Harley. Up forward. Off hands. Collected by Cracker. Going for goal number one. The drop -up Game features. The features of this game include being able to mark, kick, hand pass, take screamers, bump, tackle and much more. AFL Live allows the operator of the game to control the league, including AFL, NAB Cup, VFL, TAC Cup, Under 18s Cup, National Championship and International Cup. The stadiums, including the more known grounds like the MCG, SCG, Etihad Stadium and much more. The wind and the weather conditions crowd numbers, team jersey and the colour of the ball. When playing the game, the crowd cheers and waves flags and posters when a goal is scored. There's 300 lifelike players and abilities. By his standards, Collingwood are in the lead by 23. Remote. Career mode is a feature on the game which allows the player of the game to slightly feel what it is like to run a football club. You start off by making a player, changing the face, height and ability. You then pick a club and then the real game begins. The operator of the game receives emails about sponsorships, when players get suspended and when a player is injured. You can train your team to become better and switch players in positions. You can lead your team to the grand final which unlocks different stadiums and bonus teams. One of your team members could win the Brownlow medal or Coleman medal. At the end of the season, you have to re-sign players and extend contracts. There is a draft where new players enter, the, where enter each year, which is very cool. You can also trade with other clubs to improve your team. Other modes. The other modes in the AFL include quick match, multiplayer, which can hold up to eight players, mini games, including kick and hand pass drills, and more. Game controls. The control for AFL Live 2 are quite simple. The controls for the Wii are B is to kick and A is to hand pass. Tackling is simple, pressing A and shaking the remote. Mark is the same as tackling. You can now you can play with the nunchuck or without it. The nunchuck or the cross on the remote controls the direction of the player and the kick. Negatives. There are a few negatives to the game. One of them is the ruck knock. It is very easy to win and is unrealistic. You can have a really small player and beat a really tall player. The iOS version of the ruck knock is better though. When the ball goes into the forward, all the midfielders players run back to the middle, which is very annoying because they don't stay around and help. Kicking the ball long distance is quite hard. The ball doesn't go where it should do, and when the wind is up it's very, very hard to kick straight. Another negative is the way that they run, kick and mark the ball. They are unrealistic and uncoordinated. Next time they can make the players better, the better players in real life better than all the players on the rest of the game. It would make it more lifelike. Audience. The intended audience is probably for sporty boys 8 and up. Due, the, due to the controls and the hard to kick straight. Ratings. I give this game 7 out of 10 Gary Ablets due to the graphics and the controls. And I give this game a six and a half Gary Ablets, mainly because of the graphics. It's a great game but could do with some improving such as the graphics and the way the players move.